Good morning, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Thursday, April 27th. What's going on today? Okay. Um, yesterday, I did, I worked on my owl beaded kit. Owl beaded kit. I started a book. And it's good. You know, don't always go by the title because I saw the title. I'm like, this is a fantasy book. And it was not. It was not a fantasy book. Let me take this out. It is a erotic romance, dark romance, I think it's just erotic romance, called The King of Wrath. It is the first book of a series, and it is by Anna Huan. Huan. I don't know, I've seen her books all over TikTok, so when I saw it, on NetGalley to do a review, I'm like, okay, I want to read one of her books. So far, I am liking it so far. Um, it came out on the 25th. And let's see, I will show you the cover and tell you how much I am. 41% in the book. It is good. So that's what it looks like. King of Wrath by Anna Huan or Huang. King of Wrath. Very good. So yeah, it says it's the Kings of Sin series. It's book one. This is Advanced Readers Edition on sale for 2023. But I know the date is the 25th. So, yeah, like I said, I'm 41% in it. I'm on chapter 18. And it goes back and forth to Vivian. And what's his name? Dante? I think so. I'm really bad at remembering names. Yeah, Dante. So, it's Vivian and Dante. So, I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go on today. So, let's go on to today. Do we have birthdays today? I think what I'm going to do is I will make a short reel on the book. I, I think I'm, I do it on TikTok when I start a book and sometimes when I rate a book but I think every I think I will start doing also shorts on YouTube because not everybody watches TikTok so yeah so April 27th there's no birthday today okay today's weather Today's weather. I'm trying to get it. It says I'm in Caledonia. It needs to I just upgraded updated it. Okay. It says it's feel it's forty seven, feels like forty seven. The sun is out. When I got up this morning, it was 30. It was freezing out. Okay, so today is a high of 59 and a low of 39. Partly cloudy, winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour, humidity 47%, sunset is at 8.08 .08 p.m. So partly cloudy, 
so we'll do a cloud with the sun. Yeah, I got up, I looked out, and I had such heavy frost on my car. I had to let it warm up so that my windshield would be clear. It was cold out there this morning. Yes, sir. It's, it's still ch chilly out. That sun is deceiving, but oh my God, the sun is out. We haven't seen the sun all week. It is out. It is out. 59? Hey, I'll take that. Okay. So, I also will tell you about last night's Zoom. So, today's national day. I have shipments on the way. Hold on. It says I'm not signed in. Okay, here we go, I'm still, <laughs> okay, today's national day, here's a fun one, oh, there's a lot of good ones, national gummy bear day, national gummy bear day. Yes, I like me gummy bears. My oldest son, Justin, loves all the gummy things, gummy worms, anything. He likes those. Okay, today's a wisdom quote. Foolishness is a twin sister of wisdom by Witold Gumbrowicz. And today's the word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. Today's word is euthanasia. The noun, is an, it's a noun. The practice of ending life to relieve suffering. Examples, someone hopelessly injured, terminally ill, suffering from an incurable disease, etc. Euthanasia. And I think it should be allowed for humans as well as the animals. Because if I'm terminal and I'm suffering and I know I'm not going to live, I don't want to be keep living. No. The other word for today, I don't know where these words come from because I can't pronounce them. Hold on. Elamasinary. Okay. It's an adjective. Related to or dependent on charity. Charitable. Okay. And today's horoscope for Aries. Today everyone will notice how attractive, articulate, and charming you are. Well, thank you. <laughs> This is an excellent time to invite friends over or go out with them. Romance should go particularly well. 
In the course of your conversations, you might become aware of some fascinating and useful information that sparks you on to new interests and possibly new opportunities. Hold on to them and take the next steps. Okay. So, as you also know, I ordered... I ordered from 123 Stitch, like Monday, and it's going to be here today. Today is Thursday. That's how quick 123 Stitch is. I also ordered from Etsy. Oh, it came in Rochester this morning. I should have that tomorrow. I ordered it at the same time. Wow, shipments are moving really good now. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I have another book Zoom tonight for a Facebook group I'm in. It's just, they just talk about books. I guess there's like six books they might focus on. I, I think I read one of them. I don't know. I'll find out tonight how it goes. I loved last night's and I'll tell you about that in a minute. That was fun. Okay, my crafty planner, so, morning video, now I forgot how many, um, beads I put on yesterday. Nine times fifty three. I will tell you. I don't I, I don't have I'm good at math, but right now my brain's like, no. Nine times fifty three. So I put four hundred and seventy seven beads on. Is that right? Nine? Ten. I did ten rows, so that's 530. I put 530 beads on the owl beaded kit. So, um, let me write down owl beaded kit. Today is Kitty Heaven. I did not stitch on Tuesday at all, so I do want to stitch on it today. Let's see. Okay. This is the Owl Beaded Kit. This is what it will look like when it's done. It's full coverage, all beads. That's it, just beads. And I'm on page two. Where am I? Right here. Page two. So yeah, ten rows I I did yesterday. And there's fifty three on a row. So yeah. That's what I did yesterday. Okay, owl beaded kit. I can put on yesterday's date. Right there. Yesterday was the twenty 
six. Okay. Okay. So the book that we talked about in the Zoom last night was One Look by Lena Hendricks. So the neat thing about it was, I don't know how many people were in Zoom because my screen only showed 25. I thought that's all there was, and then I realized, no, there's a lot more. It was with the author. So they pick a book for the month, they, it's, it's on the platform called Geneva. Geneva is kind of like Facebook Messenger. And they have different topics. Um, and then they pick a book for the month. So then you can discuss like chapters 1 through 5. Then chapters 6 through 10. So they have it set up like that. So when you're done finishing chapters 1 through 5, you go in and you tell them what you thought about it. I found that really good because I like to read a book and finish it within a day or two. And so I really liked how they had it so I could go in and talk about those just those chapters. So as soon as I was done with those chapters, I could go in and discuss it. I really, really liked that feature. And so... The book chat is once a month, it's at the end of the month, and it's with the author. So all of us had to be on mute, except for the two hosts, and they are the ones that, um, they, we were allowed to put chat in, in the Zoom, because you can put chat, there's a chat thing in the Zoom. So we were allowed to say things in there, we were allowed to ask questions, and then the two hosts would pick questions to ask the author and she would answer them she was amazing I really really liked her she's down to earth um, she said she really likes writing the sex scenes and um, she listened to what we had to say and she answered all the questions everybody was asking it was really neat um, and it was an hour long, and it, that's what it said. It said the Zoom is only an hour long, and it was exactly an hour. As she said, you'll hear some noise. I have dogs. I have children. I have a husband. She goes, you'll hear things in the background. We really didn't hear anything. Um, I don't know. I just, I enjoyed it. So we'll see how tonight goes. I'm looking forward to tonight. It's a different, this is from a Facebook group for tonight and um yeah but the group from last night already picked next month's book it is not on i can't even get it on kindle or kindle unlimited it just came out in february so i was going to get it from amazon and i'm like wait i have a target card let's see if it's on target well target said they had it online but they didn't have it in the store and I'm like, or no, Barnes & Noble's only had it online. You couldn't get it in the store. So I went on Target, and I'm like, I might as well just order it from Target. It can't take that long to get here. I have a Target card. So I ordered that last night, and um, I was told that I should have it Monday. How fast is that? Anyways, the book that was picked for me is called Crash and Burn by A.J. Nicole. Yeah, and it looks good. Um, let me read what it's about. Let me know if you want to read it with me. If you want to join Geneva, let me know. Um, <coughs> if you don't want to join that and you still want to read with me, <coughs> that's fine. But Crash and Burn, let's see. Let's see what Goodreads it says. Crash and burn. Okay. 
There you go. It is a new series. It's book one. And it says, let's see. Kaylin David is her fantasy. A fantasy she didn't want to have. After leaving home and starting over on her own, she promised herself she'd focus on getting her life together, even though bad luck follows her around like a shadow. That is, until she meets him, the only man who gives her the praise that she wants, but doesn't think she deserves. Sterling Cooper is his obsession, one that he never expected. Everything in his life has always been orchestrated by his seemingly picture-perfect family. Soon he learns that his reality is made up of hidden truths. One of them is his own. But it only makes things worse when he sets sights on her, the only woman who makes him feel things he never thought he'd want to feel. One night, their lives collide. What happens when the fire their paths create burns brighter than either of them could have imagined? Will the flame consume them with passion or destroy them as secrets and chaos begin to unravel? And again, that is Crash and Burn by A.J. Nicole. It says that there's 312 pages. Um, let me, I'm not reading the reviews, just the star ratings. I have a 5, a 5, a 4, a 5, a 5, a 4, 5, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 5. So, yeah, I, I think I'll like it. I think I will. So, yeah, Crash and Burn, you want to see the cover of it? Crash and Burn by A.J. Nicole. Yeah. So, I will start that next week. I will. I should have it Monday. That's what Target says. Um, the Facebook group I'm in called Smutty Babes, they had a book. They have a book every month also. The book for April was called Highest Bitter by Sarah Kate. I could not read it because I don't like the uh, get down on your knees and stay on your knees all day and look up at me. No, just my ass. I'm sorry. I'm not into that. And it has to do with sex club also, and I don't care for reading about those either. So um, I didn't finish the book. And that's okay. You don't have to like them all. We don't have to. I do like the dark romance. I do like, you know, the smutty books. But some parts of them I don't like, and that's okay. But, yeah, the one for me sounds really, really good. That's the Crash and Burn. And the one that I just finished, the one that I read for this month was called One Look by Alina Hendricks. And that that's really good. It's it's contemporary romance. It's set in a small town in Michigan. And I don't know. It was just really cute. And there was sex in it. But it, I don't know. It was just different than some of the other ones. I liked it. The, the main character, Wyatt, he has a daughter named Penny. They call her Pickle. She made the book funny. I, we couldn't help cracking up over the antics that she did. She's like six years old. It was hilarious. Um, yeah. It starts out funny. Lark is hired to play someone who's a loved one of someone who passed away in the town. And nobody knew much about him. He was an older guy. And so she was hired. And... Yeah, so it it's good. It was good. I liked it. So that was One Look by Lena Hendricks. And I'm looking forward to next month. But like I said, next month, you can get it on Amazon, but it wasn't available as a Kindle. Only as a paperback and a hardcover. I don't know why. I found that odd, but it is what it is. So I thought, well, I don't have free shipping right now. 
I have to spend $25 and I didn't want to buy something else so then I looked on Barnes & Noble to see if they had it I'll just go run to the store and get it no it's not available in the store you have to purchase it online so that would have been shipping so I'm like I'm going to Target I'll look on Target so Target had it I had free shipping with Target and um yeah so that'll be your Monday so I'll be reading that I do have quite a bit of books on NetGalley for May. How many do I have? I have 11. Four of them are a definite I want to read. So, um, yeah, as long as I read half, I'm happy and get my reviews in because there is so many on Kindle Unlimited that I want to read and all my physical books I want to read. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, right now, King of Rap. King of Rap. Anna Huan or Huan, however you pronounce it. I'm enjoying it so far. I plan on what time is it? It's ten to nine. No. It's ten to ten right now. I'm probably gonna read this until noon. And then um, I'm going to cross-stitch and watch the past three days of General Hospital after lunch. So, yeah, I'll read for two hours on here. I have, like, a little over three hours left in it. I watch the General Hospital, and if I still have time, I'll probably read some more. Yeah, but that's it for today. Um, I normally go in a cross-stitch Zoom on Thursday nights, but I'm doing the book Zoom. I still would like to go to Barnes & Noble's once a month. I might go tomorrow. Not sure yet. Not sure yet. I could go Saturday. What's Saturday? Justin will be here Saturday. Um, maybe he wants to go to Barnes & Noble. Who knows? But that's it for today. I'll probably do a short reel on um, the book that I'm reading now. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So, we'll see. I probably will. Probably gonna, I'll read what it's, what it's about, and I'll show you the cover, and yeah. So, I'll probably do a short reel on that. So, if you want to know more about the King of Rap that I'm reading now, let me know. I'll make a short reel. <laughs> Hey, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.